Yu-Gi-Oh? No! <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> this is uh, American Sports. Oh. That's like a... I thought it sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh. So, here we go. Game one. Time, <laughs> Aye, time to do duel. some intro. Low tech on the radiant side. Yamate on Rubika, Ohio. On the Centaur Verana, AU on Shadow Demon, Raven on the Brixelback, and Xiu on, on Mirana. On the dire side, we have Team Fnatic. Jabs playing the Winter Wyvern, Abed playing Invoker, DJ playing Earthshaker, MP playing Necrophos, and Ice 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 playing the Brood Mama. 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 Mama is actually the name of the brand of instant noodle in Thailand that I brought with me. Really? Yeah. I plan, oh, I have eight packs of Mama. I'm going to be fine throughout the trip. And then I finish it all out in three days. <laughs> <laughs> How many did you eat a day? I don't know, man. <laughs> you ate way too many. Uh, it's, it's a man who likes his Mama noodles. Oh. Do you like your Mama spiders? Did you see that play? Uh, Ice 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 dismantling a web yeah. while all the spiderlings were surrounding a unit. I thought that I was sick. I didn't even know you could dismantle webs. A lot of people didn't, I but I, I no don't know. Clue. As a Broodmother player, you it's very important to know because a lot of times you don't want to destroy your oldest webs because they'll be all the prime. Like th these are the first two webs usually. Yeah. And you'll start getting more and more adventurous into the lane, but you still need these webs because your tier one tower is still up. So... Yeah. It's a way to make sure you keep the right the webs you want. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So uh, early lanes, it will be the Broodmother playing down bottom up against the Bristleback. We'll see how well they solve the Brood problem. I don't know why Yamata is starting down here. I don't think a uh -huh. Rubik does anything. I guess they just don't want to have that tri-lane XP share maybe. I suppose level it's 1 is like the best time to also harass the Brood before she starts getting those level into Spiderlings. Yeah. Once the Spiderlings come out, that's when Rubik doesn't want to be anywhere near that Oh yeah, yeah, true. But most of your harass is useless because spider uh, spin web HP regen will, you know, cancel out most of the right clicks from a Rubik. In a way, you're kind of just uh, leeching experience away from exactly. Raven, I feel. And yeah. his levels matter a lot as far as being able to deal with this Brood. Right. But uh, either way, levels are going to go Ice Ice Ice's way. DJ has pulled a creep wave behind the tower. So we're going to see Raven connect the dire creep wave with some neutrals here, just messing around with the waves. No real fighting going on down bottom. It's just both teams kind of ignoring each other to get as much farm as possible. Which perhaps takes us to some of these other lanes. Top lane where a bit more actual action is going on. A bit more early game fighting. Necrophos. This is a great Necro game. Like, you first pick this Necro and suddenly there's a bristle center on the enemy team. You're going to be pretty happy. Even with the, the Shadow Demon counter pick. True that. Uh, well, this has shown that team Team Lotech have did a lot of homework after yesterday match. They changed all their warding spot. Uh, they used to place it on the on the left hand side to spot the rune too and see some part of the middle lane uh, high ground, but they changed yeah. it. Definitely don't want to be using the same wards again and again. They've been using that same ward again and again though. Oh before okay. they meet Ooh. Kill coming up, top jabs in trouble, and Ohio and AU team up. With the disruption hoof stomp to find first blood, and it goes low tax way, picking up where they left off yesterday. It's just so lucky that the Kree wave just pushed through the tower. It's just the perfect timing for Ohio to just dodge oh. out to with his support and, and get a gank on there. He's gonna go die to a tower. What? Had no health, no mana, so it makes total sense. And actually has a. Mm. Bottle? Oh my you? Wow. I'm not sure if that's actually his bottle. It might have been a, a friend's, but... Back oh, in mid, Xi'an gets rotated on, leaps out of there. That was just a perfect wall spot, but, but I believe it will be... But, you know, well, you, you, if you take a look at how Shun react to the gang just now, you see that he keep it cool, he keep it like, uh, ah, no, I don't have a ward there. And he just dumped down. He even let uh, DJ to take, like, um, to deal damage to him with the feature. Yeah, DJ's... I don't know, th this Brood down bottom can't really be helped too much right now, and Invoker, until you get a few more levels, you can't gank with the Fissure, and even then, Mirana has leap, so... Mm. Hard for DJ to find lanes to actually gank and have an impact on right now as an Earthshaker. I like the first game that they play, right? The DJ roaming around and just oh. gank people down with a Fissure. That was a great game to watch if you want to play at ES. He's DJ. looking to, to relive that. 
Nice block by him. Top lane. There's a disruption used defensively to help get away from the chasing MP Necrophos, who's topping the CS charts right now. Does feel like a, a slower game in the early game. No, neither team going too all in for these kills. Though we are seeing some rotations here. Shaker gets an invis room top. Meanwhile, Rubik rotating in on mid lane. Can they find this kill with Xi'an? The lift is there. Spirit. He blinks in with a star storm. Pops the ice wall as well with the for the forward spirit. Abed gets back to safety for now, and he's actually going to get hit by an arrow oh. under the tower. He needs one more right click, but the tower from Xi'an, he goes down. Oh, that's so oh unfortunate. And he almost <laughs> three tips. Yeah. <sighs> No, he, he didn't get the secondary star fall, right? He hit a creep. No, so it, the, the Forge Spirit not only made the arrow combo into the telekinesis impossible, but yeah, it did absorb the second star storm hit. It's just one creep that made the play, and that creep was only around like 10 HP left, and he couldn't land the arrow. So he had to leave over the, the creeps and do that, and died. Jabs is Dead. straight dead. Uh -huh. Right clicks him down. Not too shabby. MP trying to get the kill on AU. Gets him down to 29 HP, but doesn't actually kill him off, and we'll see bounty runes being split up top. Yeah, this is what's gonna happen. I mean, you can pick a counter hero to the Broodmaster, but he still can just destroy the uh, creep yes. behind the tower anyway. And Brood will farm behind the tower, will farm the jungle, so Brood will free farm regardless of what heroes you pick. But the important thing is you keep your tower alive, you don't yes. let Brood yes. get hero kills as well. If Brood is killing heroes and free farming, then you're in trouble. Fighting Spider 101, if your tower is alive, then consider you won that lane. So, Brood level 6, nothing too crazy. I don't imagine we'll see much action down bottom. Both Brood and Bristol will just ignore each other. Shaker could rotate now at this point, now that Brood's level 6. Do you think they can kill Bristol though? How many points is he putting into his Bristol back? He's 0 3 2 right now. Oh, okay. Um, doesn't have any pieces for the Vanguard other than the Stout, so no Ring of Health, no Fit Booster. He is a bit low on health. Back in mid lane, Xi'an has a leap charge, but even with that, I think he's just dead here. We'll use it, but may have just wanted to save that one because he is going to die anyways. A nice haste rune find for the Wyvern. How was he down to one charge? I, I, mean, I think from game? mid, he used yeah. level one leaps, at least like two or three of them, oh. so... The replenish time is so long. Um, and only now he's got the second point in leap, maybe. DJ's trying to hide from Raven. I don't know if Raven spotted that the Shaker's down in the spot line or not. Hmm. Yeah, Raven has the Vanguard queued up as his next item. About to hit level 7. Top lane, disruption. Arrow hits a oh. creep, but they may still have hit the kill here. And yeah, MP does go down. Does cost them the Mirana rotation up top, but on respawn. But she's going to instantly head back mid. No six Mirana, creeps again. Almost being blocked by the creeps. <laughs> DJ's lingering around this mid lane, maybe thinking about another play, but doesn't seem to currently be the case. Oh, the tower. Yeah, it's <laughs> well, you can take the, the tower down there, just you won't be able to do so with creep waves because Raven's taken them, but you have spider links to perhaps tank for you. Nice, 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 um, getting a lot of free farm. But Bristle also, similar to Brood, can actually farm jungle and creep waves and has been doing just that. Now it comes in trying to chase him away. And Tip there. Xian once again, really? That must be some mistake in the lane. I bet he denied the range creep. That's yeah. normally the case. Like, if he, like, is pump faking a range creep last in, doesn't get it. Wonderful. Sunstrike, I think that was fishing for a Hyo up top. He's very low in health. 200 health up here is... He wants to bring these creep waves to farm. Can't double edge them though. Nope. Okay, we're gonna spawn up top at eight minutes in and... Things going pretty slow and steady right now. Bristle 71 last hits, Brood on 54. As we take a look at the net worth, it is Brood ahead in terms of net worth though. A lot of those bristle last hits being some of those baby spiderlings which don't give all too much gold. Give out, uh, now it's gonna be, well if bristle keep farming good like this, it's gonna be quite hard for low tank in the middle game that they uh, might grouping up soon after all the t items ready. Like Top lane. Fissure, they block him off, they go for the Splinter Blast and the Sunstrike. Both of those two spells are gonna miss because of the disruption but AU's still dead and reap it at that so dead for 30 plus. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who you are. Just come here and get some size, man. You're gonna be fine. 
Watch me. Everyone wants some size, especially when you work in a company. You need some holiday. <laughs> That's their vacation <laughs> getting reapered. That's vacation without pay, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends if you have a GPM talent or not. Okay? That's true. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing a support with some GPM talent, you get reaped. All right. Get I'll some welfare. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm <laughs> fine. Yeah. Brood looks like we'll finish off the bottom tier one tower now. We, uh, do have a glit. We'll see if Bristol can get back to maybe go for a deny here. Vanguard completed. Ice size size wants to get it and will do so. He's uh, about half a level behind the Bristle, with Bristle getting a lot of extra XP, but ahead on farm still. I'm very curious what Ice's build will be this game. He has a lot of options yes. on how he wants to attack this game. Has the Diffusal already uh, almost completed, okay. at least for his first item of choice. More high on top. Not looking good for him. Getting blocked. There's the Fissure block. There's going to be a disruption into Arrow. They catch the Necrophos. Ahio getting very low because of the double edge. The double Stars on will hit on MP. Gets the right target for that one. As Morana's looking for more, one jabs, one or two more right clicks will finish him off. Xi'an, after a rough start in the mid lane, has bounced back and got a couple of kills here, and he returns Ooh. some of those tips. <laughs> That's what we like here to you see. Go. Two dollars. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's it's so good to not getting tilted by these uh, my games in the early game, and that was a great arrow through all the bodies of Team Fnatic and hit just before the Necro Force <coughs> uh, use another dead pole to yeah. kill. But uh, pretty slow game for the most part here early on. A couple small little ganks here and there. But neither team going for any big team fights or really... Like, I feel like the lane stage hasn't ended. Only 10 minutes in, it's like, okay, lane stage is over, let's go make some moves. But both teams right now are still kind of in that laning farming stage. Most of the reason are uh, uh, because of the uh, spider too that yeah. actually hold on uh, one or two heroes to keep an eye on the bottom lane. Here comes Fnatic, uh, the first he smoke of the game. DJ. Oh, Yamata. Yeah, he's just going to get solo killed here as uh, the Ancients were being uh, farmed up here. A bit of a stack going on here, but Brood is going to find these ones out. Yeah, I don't know if Fnatic were aware of this until just now. And they're like, oh, hey. Yeah. They just happen to smoke down here, and they happen to have four Check heroes. Check it out. And they kill off Raven. Ice, Ice, Ice. He's taking a lot of damage with the Diffusal Blade and the Life Steal, though. Raven posing to be a pretty big threat here. Nice Tornado catches out the center before he can even use a whole Stomp here. He dies without using anything except that Stampede. Xi'an on the Marana has Leap Charges to try and get away from Ice Ice Ice, but the Diffusal Slow may be too much for him. No more Leap Charges because of the Mana Burn. And it's two dead on Lotak. Raven <laughs> may be strong and hard to deal with, but they can ignore it. Oh my god. Look like AU gets a solo kill up top. And they're not even finishing off the mid tier they're one. They're going for the Ancients. All of Raven's stacks get claimed by Fnatic. Well, well, well. This is pure Brood Mother effect. Like, uh, all of your houses are full with spider webs. And I think the issue we're going to run into is, unkillable as a Raven Bristle might be, he can't really force action the same way a Brood does. Brood with the Diffusal and the webs can just force fights, can make plays. The Bristle is just a bit clunkier and doesn't have that same kill potential. Quite slow, yeah, true. And Abed's going for the same going back for Wex and Voker nice. build, and EMP is going to be so nice. irritating for a Bristleback to deal with. Yeah, he has a Soul Ring wand, but that's only going to still give you three or four cool sprays instead of the, you know, the 10 to 15 that you need right. while you're staying alive. And Mana Burn from Diffusal, Broodmother has AU yep. top lane. Yeah, at that point you can kind of ignore, the, ignore him to a certain extent without mana. AU goes down. Tornado actually not needed, but you see down bottom the next bit of action coming out. MP. Needs to be a little bit careful. Does have friends in the neighborhood, including the Broodmother. But I don't think Fnatic need to be forcing a fight here by any means. And oh, they found Yamate behind the tier two. Poor little Rubik wills. Oh, oh what no. a read! Even if he walked the other way, the, yeah, the, the fissure, fissure would have blocked. fallen off. It was like, <laughs> you walk into this sunstrike, or you walk into this fissure. A rock in a hot place. Team communication at the best, and still keep harassing people since like. Early game for that ice ice eye. Stampede, they won oh, ice ice ice. up the yeah. cliff. Oh, the spider link dodges the, the arrow. arrow. Well Just played. Like I love how he knows, like, the second that he's safe. He, like, goes instantly to farming. He's like, yeah. okay, you guys you guys can't kill me. Nice try, though. <laughs> I'm going to hit these newts. Kill me some ogres. How close is Centaur to a Blink Tiger? He is not close with oh, the hood geez. pickup. Yeah. 
can this boss. is his favorite playstyle. Seen him as all now the um, brute master. He just play anything that irritating and die hard. You oh, gotta he sees Yamate. Lot. He's hunting. He just wants to keep f f farming off this Rubik. Are they gonna Reaper it? No, they have mercy, and by mercy I mean MP wants perhaps some bigger fish. He wants Raven to stay honest. Yeah. Anytime this Rubik shows Bruce just going charging at him. And he even being humble enough to go for a boot. For the brood master. <laughs> so many brood master or um, weaver that he kind of ignored the boot. Yep. These, they're learning that you need the, the stats and the HP that these items give more and more. Mm. And with these slows like the Demonic Purge and the Nasal Goo, like he wouldn't have been able to crawl up that cliff if he didn't have boots in that gank with the Stampede. So, status quo will continue. Fnatic have fully taken over this Radiant Jungle with Brood and they're constantly farming it out. Lutek are kind of learning that they need to play more around top lane where Jabs has been gone on. Oh, he gets low but uses the Winter's Curse to stay alive. Doesn't go for the Bounty Rune. Xian will be able to snag that one. As back in the river, AU in all sorts of trouble. He goes down. SSI has made his way out of the bottom lane because, hey, Roche is up. I don't know if he wants to go for this. It looks like he's going to back off and just farm the left side of the map now instead. That might be the first uh, tower of Team Low Tech on top. Just keep pushing, man, because the economic doesn't look good at all. With the three, almost three tower downs and getting the whole farm on the bottom lane, Fnatic is cruising with the approved battle at the moment. As, as well as a bristle does, it just doesn't matter if your teammates aren't also doing well and Mirana is super poor, same for Centaur. Mirana needs to be the one who gets really farm this game to carry because Bristle's going to just be a frontliner who gets kited and Centaur is, well he's a Centaur, he's going to carry, he's not going to scale. Who knows? Uh, Bristle back uh, farming pretty okay, but oh, Moonlight Shadow on top. Yeah, but I think Fnatic have a good idea of this. Abed drops the Chaos Meteor to farm the lane and then TP's out and by farm the lane they actually glyph it because they wanted to keep that creep wave alive. It does look like Jabs is going to stick around, but that's because he has no TP right now. While well, this is all going on, Fnatic pushing the mid lane. Both teams kind of playing keep away as the Alacrity comes out of the Siege Creep for some extra push it power. The never-ending Fade Bolt. On <laughs> the the longest Fade Bolt ever. Oh no, not again! Yeah, Spiderling's doing zero damage with the Fade Bolt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hexy just do zero damage. Yeah, they're they're here to tank for the siege creep that's going in though. Yeah. Tower still practically goes down. Oh, it's deniable. Well, a bit of gold that could be taken away. Top lane. Yeah. Now well, they're gonna get this kill on jabs. You betcha. Just keep calm first for Team Low Tag. Yeah, maybe the game looks getting yeah. pretty bad in the mid and bottom lane that they getting hole under control by Team Fnatic. Oh, they may actually kill off Raven here. The Reaper's Sun Strike. He does die in the end. Ohio was seconds. there a bit late, and that's a long time to be down. Especially against the Broodmother, you're definitely going to lose two tier twos now. They have a creep wave here. They could even threaten high ground potentially, or try force out this buyback. Yeah, I think a buyback may be necessary. Wow, what a big kill to get! I don't. I kind of like what Jabs is doing. He's died five times up top, but he is just his job is just to keep this lane kind of alive and pushed out. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, that's the dead laner, as BSJ would say, for mm -hmm. those of you yeah. familiar with our favorite yeah. NA streamer. He's, uh, his job is not to have a flashy game. The one thing that does concern me is that because Jabs is taking over the top lane, the Necro and Brood are kind of sharing the same half of the map, which is the south half of the map. Yeah. And usually with the Broodmother, you want to be consuming like as much of the map as possible so that the rest of your team can farm like whatever's remaining. But no one's really farming top. It's just Jabs dying up top constantly. Yeah, he's not really growing in terms of items. I guess the the brood's making up for it because of all the access to the jungle farm. They're getting like the entire radiant jungle, even the bo both ancients we've seen brood farming. Right. They're not really going as far as the left shrine, but they are taking these ancients as oh, Isis yeah, yeah. even at them now. So it seems like Necro gets the lane, brood gets the jungle. Although they're going to give some farm to DJ. His blink dagger is pretty slow because he's not had anywhere to farm it. Right. So I think they're finally recognizing that and MP's going to slow down his item progression. He has a Radiance queued up. 
something I feel like you'd never see in like a pub game where it's like you're you're 1300 from a radiance, you give up the lane to your shaker. Like no way. <laughs> what core player is yeah. going to do that in a non-competitive game? But they, this blink is probably more important than the, the radiance at this point. All right, maybe it's time to grouping up and push top now, yeah. leaving uh, Broodmaster alone in the uh, there for a while. Get the top two tower and just spray it up. Yeah, I feel Six like games. all these low tech moves are very telegraphed. I mean, any time they move as three or four, Fnatic just wander away, found the other side. Well, Ice is also an expert at maneuvering these spiderlings for vision, as opposed yeah. to just farming. Oh, I mean, yeah, if you see that mini map, all those little orange dots, yeah. or brown dots, I guess, those are spiderlings. He's got five or six scattered around for vision. Stampede up top. Jabs uses the Winter's Curse, as we've seen already, to try and get the hell out of there. Oh, gets disrupted just before his TP completes. And it will go down. Once again, the Winter Wyvern picked off back at the mid lane. Hunt ensuing. Raven taking a bit of damage here. Losing his mana pool to the Broodmother. Doesn't look like they'll follow it up with any kind of a kill attempt. Now let's see how good is the control ability of Team Fnatic. They were being a hater since the minute one. And, well, consider that Fnatic is a class S team, as we always talk about in this King's Cup. Ability to do the mid-game transition from a good early game into a happy ending is what determines a class A, AA, and class S. I think it's also just this last pick from low tech. Like, what was Bristles, what's Bristles supposed to be doing in this game? Um, get ready for a mid-game team fight. Get yeah. Get the uh, get items up. Uh, yeah, of course he, he might lose in in early game, but now it's now for time for him to farm. And at the very end, it comes out to the high ground fight too. You need yeah. a way to like start the fights now though. Like Bristol's gonna have a radiance, but that doesn't matter if they can't start a team fight. Top lane, they've True. shown how they do start. Then Centaur, blink stun, initiation, jabs. Once again, it's the uh, the Winter Wyvern who may actually survive this one. Yeah, Only I think one he's poison. Fine. Yep. Even with the bonus damage, DJ gonna go onto Ohio, and yeah, Ohio is looking mighty dead here. It's picked off. As oh no! Oh, no. High size, size finds a kill with his BKB reveal. It's his 10 second BKB being used to kill off the Marana. Totally fine with that, since Marana is such a, a key hero if yes. low tech want to win this game. Yes, man. Uh, I was about to say that that is such a bad deal for low tech when they're uh, pretty much like 60, 70 percent of their hope to win this game is at Marana too, and and it was easily being killed by the Broodmother with a Black King bar. And now it's gonna be an easy ages. Got the Earthshaker Blink, the Necro Radiance, so all of Fnatic's items coming online. Raven though, nearby, he's almost got a Radiance of his own. Gets scattered by a Spiderling. He knows Roche is going on. Can he actually get in in time? He's just gonna go charging in, he's not afraid of too much here. Maybe he should be though, this Reaper can do a lot of damage to him if he's not careful. Back on the sidelines, they found a hero, it's Xi'an on the Marana. The Centaur Stampede Hoofstomp comes too late as DJ goes for the solo Echo Slam play to kill him off. Raven very low, there's a Reaper coming in from MP. Raven, he could be in trouble here, there's the Reaper. Okay, oh, gets the, the disruption. save from the disruption. He's still gonna die here, but doesn't get the bonus respawn time, luckily. Items being dropped, Abed yeah. drops a point booster Yo. in front of Ohio. Styling on their You would only do that to friends. Ohio. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't do that <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> These guys love to chat up Ohio in lobbies and oh in game God. as well. All the tips, all the yeah. all the um, global chat and also the item drop is just like they just wanna humiliate in low tech right from yep. game one. They wanna get in their head. Yeah. As yesterday it was Fnatic being too old and Winter's Curse on Yamata. <laughs> I don't know about that curse, but uh, they're not even going to get the kill. Jabs, I think, a bit trigger happy with his ultimate. Not the end of the world for him, though. Time to push top, and leaving somebody at the bottom lane is going to be uh, Abed. Yep. Kind of this point where the Bristleback is just actually killable. There's just enough damage and items on Fnatic between all three of their cores that. You know, this this bristle and this passive is not unkillable. Mm. <laughs> ice, ice, ice. Doing some, <laughs> doing some cartwheels. <laughs> Show us what you got, Ice. Are. Show us your moves. No. Having fun with the game right now. It's got stage fright. It's, it's pretty much like um, playing with 
in, in fighting in a UFC and you get slowly submission like oh, one thing one factor started to be okay for Team Fnatic and then when you got it all out that that's nothing you could do in the game anymore for Team Low Attack they stuck in a deadlock yep. with the this fruit master well uncontested towers that's the final outer tower as Low Attack are pretty much trapped in their base at this point in the the issue is here, yeah, you can kind of defend high ground with maybe a bristle in the front lines, but if Fnatic want, they can just turn this 12k, 13k gold lead into a 20k gold lead by farming everything. At some point, you have to go out and make moves if you're low tech. You think, just like me, I think they, they might have to, to risk go out with a smoke yep. and try to force a big fight happen, catching some non-other Broodmother hero. And yeah, hope that miracles happen and if they can catch like two or three heroes. Maybe that's what they are doing right now. Stampede down bottom, they're going in, they kill off DJ. It's a... Uh, it's a move out on the map, but it's not a risky one. It's a safe, easy, quick kill, but while that's going on, high ground's being chipped away at. Not going to be fully committed on, but some, you know... That was just, like, damage. Five seconds of attack. Oh, bottom bounty room. Uh, Ohio. He was hoping to grab a bounty room, perhaps, doesn't find it, and... All four bounty runes gonna go the next way. That Five minutes staying there. He knows that Ohio after a successful gang at the bottom Ooh, lane. Ice maybe in we just trouble. go straight to the bounty room now. after. He's got BKB. And if anything, he's maybe thinking about chasing into them. And that's exactly what he go he's gonna go and do. Purges Raven. Gets disrupted here though. It won't be okay if he wants to BKB and he's gonna do just that. Big commitment to throw this out. Is the Tornado MP going to catch Raven, burn away his mana pool? But the guy says he's realizing he'd maybe made a questionable decision there and just going to BKB for safety. Yeah, I think he was worried about getting comboed with the arrow. Yep. Just make sure that the creep push to the bait. Everything going to be fine for Fnatic at the moment. Play some ops of the wars to shut down the map control of Team Low Tech while clear all the sentries and ops from Low Tech. Make sure the map is dark. Oh, they found Necro. Oh, he gets the blink out. He gets Demonic Purge, but he insta-blinks before he takes damage. Raven will find him, and with the Purge wearing off, he can now use the Ghost Trap once again. Winter's Curse is there. Arrow going to go flying through, but miss as Au gets Reapered. The damage is not quite enough to kill him with the Reaper, so it won't be taking too long to come back to life as Ohio TP's on out. DJ a bit too far to cancel that one, and Fnatic continue to turn this lead into something bigger and bigger as they will once again go start poking at this mid-tier 3 tower, it looks like. Feeling pretty grim for Lotak. Yes. There's just, they game. just look powerless. Yeah. Do you know that... what's it look like right now? I'll tell you later after this. Well, Fidget goes in, they want to hire to start this fight off. No stampede, so no way out. As MP on the front lines gets low, but he's still got an Aegis. Gets caught by an arrow, but... That Ghost Shroud, yeah. Cold Embrace heal is that crazy. That was insane as they blow up Yamate's Rubik here. Next up is the Raxes. Lotak only have three heroes alive unless they buy back this center, which they may have to do. Raven gets disrupted. No Reaper for 60 seconds, so not something he has to worry about too much. MP, once again, getting stunned up on this Necrophos. These arrows just keep on catching him, but blink. he doesn't seem to care, and he does blink before Ohio can catch him. Will Fnatic go back in? So it's a Centaur buyback. Aegis is still up. For, actually, is it still up? It's they, still up. It's almost timing out, though. Uh, five seconds, yeah. They could be careful. That could be low tax go time if they know the the timing on it, but it doesn't look like they're really in a position to commit to this one. Aegis will expire, and he'll lose the regen as well to the Shadow Poison. Well, this is this really looks like a UFC match, Conor McGregor versus Khabib to me. It's getting beat down. No, it's, it's, it's just that uh, Team Low Tech are Conor McGregor and they are very good at boxing. They're good at like standing on ground and fight, uh, keep on fighting in team fight like that. But Fnatic just play like Khabib. He just gonna Choke go in. Out. Yeah, and, and just trying to racing him and trying to put him on the floor. Yep. And, and that, that's, as, as you can see, this is one of the lowest kills in games in the playoff round. That's yes. no boxing at all. This is purely tactic from Team Fnatic. We saw games with like 80, 90 kills yesterday. 
There yeah. is nothing Team Lotech could do about it. All they are waiting for is that one nice. amazing hook. Oh, the four stuff saves him from the arrow. The arrow will still catch DJ really far back. MP in trouble though. He can't go straight, so they'll still kill off the Necro. Jabs is here. Does he have a Winter's Curse target? Doesn't look like it. As Yamate barely alive with the Moonlight Shadow Invis and Einstein Sice in full retreat into the trees, trying to get the hell out of there. Moran has found an arrow. Onto DJ, one more right click will finish him off, and there's the fight that Lotek have been looking for. Yeah, and that was the left hook from Conor McGregor that have been they are looking for. They need something of this happen, and they they hope they hope that uh, it will be hard enough to just choke Team Fnatic and stop them from pushing and comes in and just you know crushing them with all these tactics right. for a while. They almost found ice, ice ice with the high ground ward on the cliff. He's going to be KBTP. And also reveal the fact they had a ward up there, I want to say. Yeah. We need more of this thing happen for Team Lotak to stay alive in this game. This is such a hard fight to watch. Yeah, they need to come out swinging. He can't just stay on the high ground, wait for their inevitable no death. Way, they need man. to gotta get crushed. They need to show some pizzazz. Down bottom, Abed. Tucked away in the trees, but a lot of heroes TPing down here. I bet goes in for the kill on the higher, but it's a bit of a bait here as he's just going to look to go walk away. The sentry wards are there, but he's too fast, so they can't actually punish this. Neither team will lose anyone initially. As Brood has swung himself in and looking for Xi'an. Has triple leaps here, though. As Ice looking to maybe force out some more. Isn't going to do so. DJ. Fissure blocks Raven. He's in some trouble here, if not for the Stampede. Even with the Stampede, they're still looking to chase him down. The Reaper Scythe potentially there if they want to go for this kill with the Sunstrike. Yeah, okay, they've got this kill. Scythe, he doesn't no. even want a Scythe. He tried, but he accidentally yeah. hard stopped him to death. Like Ice Ice Scythe pulled back just so they could get the Scythe, but the cast animation was too long. I'm surprised. I, I guess MP was worried that disruption may be a threat, so that's why he didn't go for oh. it earlier. Yeah, that's it, true. But it, Shadow Demon actually up top, not yeah. something I think they were aware of. Nico for is going for something dirty. It's called Agony Scepter. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so dirty, man. <laughs> well and truly, uh, Khabib in this scenario. Yeah, what a great item to pick up. Can use more often. Mm -hmm. There goes flying through. Wyvern jabs back on top lane defending duty. This has not been the most exciting part of his role, but. You know, a necessary one for Fnatic, who are pushing down bottom. Ohio getting gone on. There's the cold snap with the spirit vessel, and uh, he's not going to stampede. So, so goodbye, Mr. Ohio. Butterfly. Oh wow, that is Ice a Ice. lot of shadow poison damage on Ice Ice Ice. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Almost die, man. All right, maybe it's time to uh, leaving Spider at the bottom lane, and uh, the rest of Team Fnatic just push up together. I think that would be a great idea. So Abed put Mitch a little bit, has sent in the creeps. Seems like they're happy just to uh, play right outside low tech space until they maybe have another Aegis. If they can find some kills and picks, that they'll grab them. Yeah, I think until they kill a, a Bristle again or maybe Siphon, they're not really willing to bomb rush yeah. high ground. Let's see if they start poking here. They Alacrity of the Ford Spirit, so they're willing to send in a Ford Spirit, but I don't imagine any hero necessarily will want to expose themselves on the high ground. MP will perhaps risk it a little bit. They are split pushing here. Ice 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 on the tier 3 bottom, so a different approach from Fnatic with the split push and the tier 3 getting Crimson guarded up will still go down. As mid lane also, the melee racks being hit at by MP with that attack speed talent. He's just bringing this down mighty fast and the alacrity. They need to go on MP at some point. When are they going to tap out Cyclops? They're losing oh. oxygen. No man, it's, it's the matter of time now. Stuck on the ground, never get a chance to get up. Oh, and nice swing. curse. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you, there's a disruption save though. But while this is going on, Ohio initiates with a three-man hoop stomp. In comes Xian. He's gonna BKB on the Mirana. He kills off the first hero. It's the Invoker, but he's in full retreat because the Brood Mother is not a hero he can tango with. Brood just charges forward, forces some buybacks here. As MP's Reaper now on cooldown, there's going to be an Echo Slam just to help them retreat. It looks like nice Fissure as well stops a potential hoop stomp in Ohio. He's going to oh, die Raven again. Oh, Raven might die back. Oh, he can't afford to lose Raven here. He's going to get back to the high ground. Nice tornado. The, tornado. the cataclysm. cataclysm. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's GG. Rampage. Rampage. I thought it was a rampage for the Invoker, but no, the dirty, dirty Necrophos.
He gets the rampage. 27k a hate at 